just moved into my new room. I am super excited. It's the master of the house. I have never had my own master before and I get my own bathroom. So I'm super excited about that. So I am actually in the process starting today of making it my dream room. So first thing I did was paint my room. There are quite a few marks on the wall and because I wanted to change which wall was the accent wall, I had to paint the room. So took out my bed, painted my room. Because the ceilings are so high, it took longer than expected, but got it done and this is what it looked like when it was all done. So now that my room is all painted, I can start getting my furniture. Here's the layout I made for my room so I knew around what dimensions each piece of furniture should need and then just started looking for nightstands, a desk, and a sofa chair. If you haven't seen my videos before, I fix up a lot of free furniture and then sell it for a profit. So I started that same process of looking for free furniture on OfferUp, LetGo, Nextdoor, and Facebook Marketplace. And to find all the furniture pieces that would become a part of my room, it ended up taking about two weeks. So I finally found this desk for free on LetGo, which I'm super excited about. It is exactly what I was looking for. It's long, skinny, and has super big drawers, and it even has a footrest, which I absolutely love. The only problem is I don't like the color of it. I don't think it matches my room. So I took it apart, sanded it, stained the middle section, and painted the outside sections. And then this is what it looked like when I was completely done with it. Next, moving on to my nightstands, I found these two nightstands for free on OfferUp. And sanded them, stained them, painted them, and then brought them up to my room and decided I hated them. So instead, I sold them for $100. And then I found these nightstands for free on Craigslist, I think. These were actually pretty beat up when I found them. Some of the wood was rotting and they were super dirty. So I replaced the rotting wood, I sanded them, I primed them, and I spray painted them. And then brought them upstairs and liked them a lot more than the other ones for my room. And the last thing I did was go shopping at Ikea and on Amazon for all the finishing touches like curtains, mirrors, whiteboards, frames, magnets, my bedspread, and a few other things. And then I installed all of that stuff and pretty much that wrapped up everything I did for my room. My room is finally done after months. Oh, she doesn't like that I locked her in. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, welcome to my room. I'm sorry, Bumpy. I'm sorry. But anyways, welcome to my room. <laughs> filming that's, so if that's... I'm like looking that way instead of at the camera that's why. First this is my closet and I made a video on that if you want to see it I'll link it down below. I pretty much I built it using a pack system and if you want to see how I did it, how I organized it, everything about it, it's linked down below. This is my bathroom. That's actually a video coming up next so I'm not going to show you that because it's very messy. Come here baby! Lola, come here. I know you're my baby girl. Yes, it's a good girl. Baby. How do I ever really get anything done with you around? Yes, you're so cute. I love you. The first thing I did when I moved into this room was paint the walls. This accent wall color used to be on that wall, but I didn't like that because I like symmetry. And if I put my bed on that wall, the wall is slanted, whereas like this wall is straight across, and I can really get really good symmetry here. This is the only piece of furniture that was in here before. And then this bedspread I got on Amazon. And as an interior designer, I whenever I take photos after I'm done decorating a place, I bring as many comforters as I have and I layer them all so it's more like fluffy and luxurious. So that's like, I guess, a little interior designer hack. The curtains, the light, the mirror, all from Ikea and I've installed all of them. There actually was no lights here before, and I'm too broke to hire an electrician. So I actually just used Ikea's like cord hanging system that they have, and I just screwed it into the ceiling, and then I have a cord going, and then I hid the cord behind this curtain. And I even painted the cord to match the ceiling and the wall because I'm psychotic, and I even painted the little nail things that hold the cord against the wall. And my favorite part about this light is that I installed the switch right here, so it's really, really easy to turn on and off. And there's chargers on both sides of the bed, so this one's for Bowen. And I put these little cord organizers, so it's always right here, and 
you always know where it is. And Guan for Christmas got me light changing. What are those called? Like you know? smart light bulbs? Yeah, smart light bulbs. So I can change it to whatever color I want at night. I love my room. With this like darkening glass and with the light bulbs you bought me, it's all like moody and really like cozy and warm. So I actually love my room. <laughs> and then these are my reusable tissues using actually Guan's old white cotton t-shirts. I didn't tell him. I asked him if I could have all of his old white shirts that he was gonna give to Goodwill. And he said, yeah. So I ripped up all of his old t-shirts. <laughs> and then I posted the video and after I posted it, he was like, that's what you're using my t-shirts for? <laughs> and then I actually have a hidden laundry basket right here that I put the dirty ones into and then when either I run out or this fills up I just throw this bag in the laundry and then I refold them back up and put them back in my box. That video also linked down below if you want to see how I made them. This side is completely Golan's side. Golan doesn't live here with me but if he ever does sleep over this is anything he could ever need. He's a very light sleeper so I have earplugs. Uh, he gets allergies so I got him allergy stuff. Chapstick, more allergy medicine. And condoms. <laughs> condoms. <Yeah. laughs> Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Dad. At least I'm being safe. Let us show. I hope they never see this. They probably won't. I, this is not going to be on, right? I don't know. You're going to we'll, edit this we'll out, see right? How I'm feeling. Okay, <laughs> please don't. Please don't. In case they're watching. And then down here is all this clothes. It's shirts, shorts, and underwear and socks. So yeah, this whole side is gone. So I'll take you over to my side next. Go on, Twinkie. <laughs> this is my side. Same thing of like light mirror, my reusable tissues, my cord holder right here. Hidden here, I have, I bought this little like, I don't know even what this thing is called, but it's like a notebook holder. And pretty much I try to write every night, most time. I kind of forget, but I try to write every night, and so this is right here, and so I can write before I go to bed. And then my top drawer is honestly everything I would ever need for while I'm in bed. So pens for when I write. Honestly, it's mainly just candles and incense in this drawer. I love candles, and I love, or not incense, um, diffuser. My diffuser and my essential oils. Chapstick, condom as well. <laughs> oh my puppy, come here. What are you crying about, my little princess, huh? What are you crying about? I love you. Why doesn't Lola have a nightstand? She doesn't, but she has her own bed. Honestly, <laughs> that couch over there is hers. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so this is mainly stuff that smells good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then bottom drawer is honestly just like random stuff, like extra binders and jars. This is honestly kind of like my drunk drawer. Next, moving on to my office. Actually, I bought this TV, I don't know, a couple years ago. When I bought it, I just got out of college, and it was like when I just started making money, and I like bought myself a TV. In the moment, I was really happy that I was adulting, so I really like my TV. And I can turn it towards my bed if I want, or towards my office and my couch if I want. Just make sure that you don't get like the buildings outside just so, so people so, can't like, stalk you. Yes. Her social security number. <laughs> what is your social? What you, do you actually know your social? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so on to my office area. First, I guess is my plants. These actually are all plants that really purify the air, like especially like a snake plant. It's like one of the highest rated plants that really clean out the air. So yeah, even my plants have function. I'm huge on function, which you can't tell. This is my couch. I love this couch. When I was redoing my room, I would wanted like a small like sofa chair that I could fully engulf me because I like, sometimes I like editing around my desk and sometimes I like working here. So I like a change of scenery. In this couch, I saw an Ikea website and I fell in love with, I wanted it, but it was $200. So I was like, mm. but then I, I'm always on offer up and let go. Those are like kind of like a Craigslist app, Craigslist, it Craigs, <laughs> it's kind of like a Craigslist app, but better. But anyway, I'm always on there because I'm always getting free furniture, fixing up, and selling it. But, and I found this exact couch for $40 on OfferUp, so I was honestly so excited. Like, the second I saw it, and I think within the hour of them posting it, I got it. So I got this couch for $40 instead of $200. This couch, all of the covers remove, and I can just throw them in the wash. So that was another 
great thing since also this is honestly more Lola's couch than my couch. Here, let me show you. <laughs> here, right here, I have Lola's bed, and so when Lola's over, I put this down, and this couch becomes hers. And honestly, this bed is so comfy that like sometimes I just sit on here when I don't want to move it. But yeah, so this becomes Lola's bed. Come here, baby girl. Oh, that's a good jump. You love this bed, don't you? Huh, huh. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh my god, princess. This is Lola's couch. Sometimes Lola sleeps here. Until no. three in the morning. Yeah, until three in the morning, and then she comes up on the bed and sleeps with us. Because <laughs> she loves cuddling. Yes, you do. And then for these huge windows, so the same curtains that I have on that wall, I actually bought their two sets of curtains, sewed them together, and made them this exact length. Yeah, now I have very long curtains. And then moving over to my desk area. This is my desk. The best thing about this desk is it has a friggin' foot rest built in. So my printer, and then this drawer right here is all my printer-related stuff, so paper, ink cartridges, photo paper, and whatnot, and then down here it is all my electronics. Headphones, speakers, extra cords, and cleaning stuff for electronics, my camera equipment, all that is in here. I also forgot to mention that whenever I get one of these cilia packets, I throw it in here, so if any moisture ever gets in this drawer, it will protect all of my electronics. And I love how big these drawers are. On to this side, this is my tea section. I love tea. I literally got a kettle just for my room. I have another kettle downstairs. And then this drawer is my tea drawer. This tea drawer is actually my second tea drawer. I have another tea drawer downstairs. But that tea drawer, which I actually love, it's beautiful. That tea drawer is caffeinated. Um, tea wears this is all like decaf, so I'll have all my like herbal teas and stuff right here. Down here is all my office stuff. So notebooks, pens, scissors, label maker, tape, you know, everything I need to work here. Oh, and then my stool. This is actually a $5 stool from Ikea. I think I got this from Marshalls for $15 maybe. And so I put this on here. And my laptop here, and then I have this, what are these things called? This like lifts your computer up so you're not like slouched down and like looking down so you're like, your posture is better and your head is straight forward. And then this is like my vision board. I have another vision board in my bathroom that is actually like more personal goals and stuff. So that's like my personal and this is like my professional vision board. Up here is like people I admire and like goals that I want to achieve, like I want to buy a house eventually. And then here is like my big goals, my weekly to-dos, my daily to-dos and just reminders. And then over here is my sisters and my mom and Golan and Lola. And then this is, I actually literally looked up on Google Images, 100,000 subscribers plaque and I photoshopped my name onto it because one day I eventually hopefully will get 100,000 subscribers. Subscribers, so I being there will remind me to like what I'm working towards and this one This is my like YouTube section. So like my Subscribers and I guess quotes and like youtubers. I like and, like just inspirational quotes and then over here is our comments on my videos That were really nice. All of you guys are so nice So thank you guys for for being so nice and for supporting me and literally I have these here because anytime like I get down on myself or discouraged like if I read these it's like okay it's what why I like doing this so thank you guys <laughs> thanks for being so nice and then a, a text from my sister who that was really like supportive and nice she's always been really sweet so yeah that's my room oh I guess there's one more thing last thing is when you lay down first these really tall windows I love them because I can see the stars at night from my bed right here which is super cool but then also on this side is a painting that I painted it's actually a picture from Zillow one of my biggest goals right now is to buy a house if you've seen my videos you know I love like fixing stuff up so I want to buy a house fix it up and then rent it out and then honestly keep doing that because I love fixing stuff up and fixing houses because it's also one of the first things I see every morning so it's kind of like a reminder one of my goals you can tell my whole room is like based around goals and my priorities and making sure that I work towards my goals everything is designed so it's very efficient everything like when I'm working everything I need while I'm working is right next to me like my tea while I'm working I have a pot of green tea and I'm constantly refilling it so that's why the kettle is there too so I absolutely love my room when I get home I literally get happy just because it's like it's mine and I I made it to where it's like I everything is perfectly designed for me so yeah I hope this inspired you guys and I didn't spend like I'm literally broke right now I didn't 
no furniture besides the couch I spent money on. And that couch was $40. So this proves that you don't need to spend a lot of money to like get your perfect room. Because this literally is my perfect room right now. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Honestly, this video is kind of really hard for me to record just because it's, I don't know, it's this is my room and it's such like a personal area and like showing you all my goals. I actually kept on like pushing back recording this video. So thank you guys for watching and see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> my, my girl. What? What are you looking at her? Yeah, her legs. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> She's just <laughs> casually <laughs> showing hump up. Where's Colin? Where's Colin? What's that? Where's Colin? Oh, that's your ball. That's not Colin. Oh, thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you for the kisses. Oh, that stretchy pool. Oh, is funny? Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>